G'day Pisces, welcome. We are here to do your love reading. Um, so let's get started and tack on in. I hope you are feeling wonderful. So let's call in our spirit guides, tap into your own intuition when um, this information is shared with you and take what resonates and connects and receive. All right, thank you. Okay, so we're looking at love right now for Pisces in the month of June. Dear Spirit, please give us some clear messages for the collective. Okay, thank you. I wanted to ask for one more and there it came. So having a look straight up Pisces, uh, you've got a new moon in Gemini, which communication is key. You're very close to achieving your goal, which is under the gibbous moon, and then balance spirituality and practicality, which is full moon in Pisces. So what I'm getting straight up here, Pisces, um, whatever it is that you're experiencing, whether you're in a relationship or seeking love, uh, what is it that you are seeking is what I'm getting right now. What is it that you're seeking, whether it's from a new partner or your existing partner and how, how are you sharing that? I think importantly, we all have needs. Okay. And I think we all have things that we desire in a relationship. Uh, and knowing too, that we're, we're each our individual person coming together, uh, with another. So when it's coming to the communication, I'm getting for those that are seeking partnership, or, you know, their soulmate essentially is what is it that you're asking the universe for? What type of feelings do you want to feel? What type of person do you want to engage with? Just besides, you know, the perhaps the good looks, the dark hair or the blonde hair, whatever it might be, um, you know, sexy humor and all those things, that's wonderful. But how do you want to feel? And I feel a big part of this is how are you communicating with you, the universe to, to bring that in. But also if you are in a relationship, how are you communicating what you need? Um, I think it's a really important time to open up and share what it is that you need, how, how, you know, how you're feeling, but also understanding how your partner's feeling too. It becomes, um, what I'm getting is it's, it's going to help, but bring into balance. That's what I'm visualizing. That's what I can kind of see is like scales. It will bring things into balance when you can speak about it. Okay. So having a look at very close to achieving your goal, you know, what is it again, what is it that you are seeking? I think the clear, the more clear that we can be, um, cause sometimes we can speak without realizing that, um, what it is that we actually want. I think sometimes we can be caught up in our feelings as humans and probably more so as Pisces, but in letting, letting you know that it, it's okay to be real with how you're feeling and what it is that you're desiring. So if there is something that you need to let go or if there's something that you want to attract in, it's letting you know it's, it's coming, it's arriving, but I think it's about getting clear on what it is that you want and how you are communicating that um, universally or to your partner. Um, and as, as that happens, we've got balance, spirituality and practicality. So I feel that that is really going to come into play for you is taking the steps towards, you know, what it is that you seek on a deeper level. I feel that it, we definitely need to look at getting below the exterior and go more introspective on our desires in partnership in partnership, you know, while that could be with ourselves, but importantly with a partner that um, whether our soulmate, our twin flame, or someone that we are calling on in. All right, so let's dive in to what else is happening here. Please share for the month of June, Pisces in love. This one, these two don't wanna go in, so I'm taking that. All right, let's get started. And we don't read reversals, just so you are aware. Okay. For Pisces, please, in love for the month of June. Thank you, Spirit. Take one more. Thank you. 
and we will clarify okay so let me just tap into the energies and what is um, happening here right now I feel wherever you are Pisces you know you do know what it is that you want what it is that you seek I feel that you have been you're happy doing you and being you but being that independent self, you are still looking to get to the 10 of pentacles. Okay. I think that's for, for a lot of us, you know, it's great to have the independence. It's great to have that freedom, that flexibility, but there's also interdependence, right? Where you can still be yourself and then find your partner who also can, you know, allows you to be you, allows you to do what it is that you need. So again, like if you're meeting someone or in partnership, I think it's really important to express that and continue to be that person um, without getting too lost in um, another uh, in terms of, yes, supporting their dreams, supporting their goals. But I think a big part is also how can you still do you and be you and do that in a, in a beautiful way in a relationship. And I think that's what is going to be key with the next partnership that you enter, the next relationship that you enter. But for, for those of you who've potentially kind of lost themselves along the way, that are in a relationship right now, I think you, you're not sure how to get to the other side, how to get to the other side of, um, as we look at the nine of pentacles, the 10 of pentacles, 10 of wands, and then the 10 of pentacles, I feel there's a part of you that is, you want to fight for something, but, but you're not sure what you're fighting for anymore. Perhaps you have lost yourself in a way. Um, perhaps you're doing things more by yourself or that you know that you need to get back to looking after you because you've kind of neglected yourself along the way and you know don't be hard on yourself this is this happened these things happen in relationships you know especially if you've had kids or you've been really focused on your career sometimes that when in when in partnership and it's it's interesting what I'm getting consummating is I don't know why that word's coming up but I think in in partnership what it's letting you know is like don't don't lose yourself along the way, but also make sure that you keep finding yourself too, okay, and not getting caught up. And I feel perhaps right now for some of you is that you are very clear in who you are, but there's also this part of you knowing what you want, but for some reason there is some form of, um, I'm going to say, I don't want to say lack of direction, but I, I'm wondering if you're seeing things for what they truly are. And I think sometimes we can get caught in our feelings, but I think when you come back to your passions, to your, to the things that light you up in a relationship and reconnect, that's when you can find and come back to the 10 of pentacles. Okay. Um, in terms of achieving that wholeness, that stability in your relationship. I think once you acknowledge that um, and spend time with that, you'll start seeing yourself feeling whole again, feeling in a place of you've started focusing more on yourself as you focus more on yourself and get clearer on the direction that you're going. But again, connecting to that passion of yours, what lights you up, what sparks that, you will find that you create your own stability. This is when you attract more in your life. There's more connection, there's more love, there's more fulfillment. And as, as you can see from all the work that you do, Pisces, um, and as you focus more on yourself and what it is that gives you that good feeling on the inside that sinks of wands allows you to celebrate and uh, attract more of what it is that you are seeking what what i do find interesting through this um, pisces there is still a lot related to your work to your independence and to your creativity but but creating stability for yourself there maybe have some fears around um, not being financially uh, secure and what I mean by that is giving, perhaps in a former relationship, you have, um, whether you've been the breadwinner or you've had a lot of financial success and somehow, whether through divorce, separation, um, some form of partnership of some kind that hasn't been as strong, you're really seeking a partner that can give to the relationship just as much as you. And I feel that's really important to you this time around. So make sure that you are communicating that again with the universe on what you want to attract, but importantly for yourself and staying true to yourself on that path. I feel the more work that you do on yourself and focusing on yourself, you will actually realize that things start, um, start coming to life for you. Um, perhaps you have been through a little bit of a hard road, a hard path, 
um, some, you know, pretty significant challenges in partnership, but you're doing okay, okay? You're, you're at, I feel like you're at an end of a cycle where things are going to start coming in and you're going to start making choices from, I think of setting better boundaries for yourself as we move into the Queen of Swords energy. You're going to be setting better boundaries for yourself. You're going to be coming from a place where you're, you truly want to connect into your intuition um, and trust in that feelings, in any feelings that you get that raise flags. I think that's really important for you this time around. You don't want to make mistakes from the past, whether you are in a new relationship, a new marriage, um, or rekindling your current marriage, whatever it is, Again, it's about setting the right boundaries and staying true to that and being able in a way to communicate it in a, in a warm way. I know sometimes when we look at the air energy for a queen of swords, sometimes it can be direct um, and assertive. But again, it's the way that you communicate will make, will make a difference. But you are definitely supported here um, from a security point of view, um, creating that stability that, that it is that you're seeking. Uh, I feel with it as, you know, looking here at the six of wands, there's going to be a lot of attention. You're going to start getting a lot of attention when you are staying true to you, when you are becoming more independent. It's kind of like you're also going to shake up the energy around you, whether it's your current partner, new partners, and people are going to start paying attention and saying, hey, like what is Pisces up to? What is it that there's something that she's doing or he's doing, creating and being, and it's quite, I think, a wonderful thing. And it's like they see the beauty, beauty in your scars is kind of what I'm getting. And I think that's a song, but it was really interesting how it came, came in. I think again, peeling the layers back of who you are and staying true to yourself, true to your essence is going to make a big difference as you move forward. But I think it's important too, to see things for what they are rather than, um, creating from a place that may not be, uh, true to you, honest to you, whether it's them or yourself to them. Okay. It's kind of what I'm getting from the two of swords. So we're going to clarify here the nine of pentacles, 10 of wands and the 10 of pentacles, please for Pisces in love. Thank you. Yeah. So definitely here, Pisces, I think at some point you have been, um, with the seven of voices and the nine of emotions. I think there's a part of you that has kind of um, let me just tap in to get the, the energy of what they're trying to get me to say here. Um, I think you've been cheated in some way, uh, whether intentional or unintentionally, I feel that again, this is why you want to do things a different way this time. You want to be more, you want to be clear on what you're attracting in because you don't want to attract the the crap before but also too if you're in a relationship you don't want to trigger things that perhaps aren't actually real or valid in your relationship but because of previous experiences perhaps that is coming up a little bit for you so the way that you feel safe is going okay well it's like you kind of I don't want to say scatter but you kind of just I think there's some form of abandonment that perhaps comes up for you. So you go, the, the way that you know how to succeed is taking back all of who you are and going to be independent, taking care of yourself because you don't want to be put in a form, in a situation where you lose everything again. It's kind of what I'm getting, okay, from this energy. Um, and then if we look at the uh, night of emotions, you know, there there is... I do feel that there, there is somebody coming on in and someone that, or perhaps this is what you are calling in. Okay. You are seeking someone who can connect with you on a deeper level, on a deeper soul level. That is what you are seeking. Okay. And I, again, I feel with the night of emotions and the communication is key as it, we have with the night of emotions, the form of communication. When we think of that, I'm looking at that as a seashell and you know, when you put a seashell up into your ear and you can hear the voices of the ocean, right? I feel there is a message that perhaps is coming on in. Someone is wanting to communicate with you, Pisces. Um, and I feel this is a quite a, a strong character. Someone who is, I feel true to their heart, true to their soul. They are, I don't think that they're seeking as such, like, um, 
I feel they're in a place of they also know what they want. And if that right person comes in, they are open to it. I also feel if you are in a partnership that your person is also in a place where they want to they want to connect more to their heart. I think perhaps they're drained and they're tired. There's something there that's coming on in here. And I feel that connecting with them, talking to them, you're actually going to uncover the deeper side of them and what it is they also need right now. If you can't see it, if you're trying to understand like what's kind of happening here, should I just be doing my own thing? Because perhaps your partner's not as engaged as they used to be, or they're distracted or got a lot going on. But I feel once that communication opens up, you're going to recognize there's a lot of, a lot of depth, a lot of heart, a lot of feeling um, in this. Okay. So let's have a look at the 10 of wands, please. 10 of wands. Holy Spirit, what can you share with the 10 of wands, please, for Pisces? In love. Thank you. Pisces. Okay, we got only two cards. Okay, so we've got the Emperor and the Wheel. So whatever changes are occurring for you, Pisces, um, with the, the with the wheel energy and the emperor emperor energy i feel this a big part of you is i look at the wheel for some reason i'm thinking of the tree of life but the wheel of life and i feel a part of this with the ten of wands is kind of letting you know whatever cycle that you're in whatever has been a little uneasy a little um I feel like in and out energy in some way. I feel like there's been a lot of passion. There's been a lot of communication. There's been disruption. There's been a little bit of pain in between fighting in some way, like through words. And I feel like this is coming to an end. This is coming to a close with the 10 of wands and the, the wheel card. I also feel too Pisces that you're that whoever you're connecting with or communicating with, um, I do feel that they're, you know, they want to also be seen as a strong leader, a fearless leader, someone who's going to protect and provide for you. So for some reason too, there's some form of feel of insecurity for, for them um, because, and this may come too with the emotional part of them. Okay. So whether this is a, um, female energy that you're connecting with or a masculine energy with I think there's a big part of them that they do have a super big heart and, and this could also be for you too Pisces that you have a super big heart but you there's also this power about you there's also this strength about you and perhaps too there could be some form of I'm getting colliding um, with the energies so I think perhaps you are strong and independent Pisces or whoever's coming in or whoever you're connected to is is also that way so they could be kind of like a a battle of the what's the word getting too involved where you guys are kind of battling for your truth or who you are if that kind of makes sense it's an interesting energy that I'm getting, but I think once things shift around, you're going to start to see that you, you're you each going to own your own your own truth, being able to contribute in a way that is, that makes you feel good, that makes you feel seen, that makes you feel recognized for the powerful human that you are, because you don't want to lose that part of you, okay, that's really important, but nor do they. But I feel there's also that recognition that an emperor seeks, you know, to remember who they also are. And I think like if you can go back to that time of yourself or, or when you meet that person or met that person, whatever, if you're manifesting or currently in that situation, you know, what, what are the things that you remember about them or remember about yourself when you first connected or when you want to first connect with your partner? What is it that you want to feel? What do you recall? What are those moments that made you just really inspired and wanting to, you know, be with that person or remembering who you were? And I think it's, you know, stepping back into that energy is what's going to really spark it again. And I feel like there's, a, there's another opportunity coming, coming around. The difficult times are... are are going if there have been some okay that's kind of what i'm what i'm feeling 
So, dear spirit, can we look at uh, the Ten of Pentacles, please, for Pisces in love? Thank you. I mean, you've got the Six of Inspiration twice. So Six of Wands, Six of Inspiration is also like the Six of Wands. Um, and that's on the Ten of Pentacles. So whatever that you're working towards, Pisces, I think when you step back into your truth, step back into your power or give permission to your partner to also do that. But I think there's a part of you guys that need to speak and connect into to be able to support that energy to awaken. Um, I think, I don't know if you guys have been going too hard, doing your own thing, um, or Pisces, as you're seeking someone, you both have been doing your own thing. So those energies haven't been able to connect just as yet. But I feel that once you kind of step into your truth, what it is that you want to feel, how you want to be seen, that is going to get you to that stability and to that Ten of Pentacles that you are seeking. While it's not the Ten of Cups, there is definitely that energy of stability, of family, of recognition, of support, of this homeliness that, that you desire. But I think to whoever's coming in or whatever you're awakening, Pisces, in your relationships, I don't know what's going to happen, but it's beautiful. You're, you're definitely going, I feel like, you know, if you wanted to be treated like a goddess um, or be treated like, you know, that wonderful spirit because you are that loving energy, you're definitely going to be seen that way from, from your partner or whoever's coming in. But importantly, you need to see that in yourself too and show up that way, okay? I think that's really important um, that you need to hear right now, okay? So having a look, six of wands, we've got the fool and the 10 of inspiration. So what that's telling me here is that I feel that as you jump into yourself again and kind of let go of the burdens is what I'm getting, kind of let go of the heaviness. You've got the 10 of wands and the 10 of inspiration. And again, it's, this, it's a similar energy, but what I'm getting from here is, is that your whole, you've been holding on to these burdens. I don't know whatever it is, but you kind of have lost the magic in a way. And it's letting you know, jump back in, go have some fun, go play, G connect to, to the light that's within you. Let that light shine, you know, glow up, whatever that is for you. And I feel once you do, and that spark emerges, it will connect together together again. But I feel like there's just some heaviness that's being held onto. Um, but once you step back into this beautiful energy of you, again, for something, I keep getting this little message in my head that's saying, remember who you were when you were at your best self, when you were at your highest self, like what is it that you did that made you feel amazing, made you feel glowing? What is it? And you know, that person, that, um, energy that you were, I feel like stepping back into that, you know, connecting and communicating in a, in a very, um, connected and controlled energy, and when I say controlled, I mean emotionally intelligent, not controlling as in trying to control things, but more so looking after your own heart and how you show up. I feel that that's just going to change everything for you once you step into that and kind of let go of the heaviness that perhaps you're holding on to too. Maybe it's also some energy that you need to clear or you need to have a chat with a partner um, to hopefully help them let it go too. Um, perhaps they're not feeling good enough right now. Um, and they can see that you're taking care of yourself now. Um, and it's kind of what they also seek. So let's have a look at it, the eight of pentacles. Maybe they just, yeah, they need a bit of a, a feel good moment. Perhaps they've kind of lost themselves, you know, and that's why there was that disconnect and you kind of went into that energy as well. So looking at the eight of pentacle and the nine of voices, I think it's been kind of hard for you, Pisces. You know, you, you've, the thing though, I think what is, what is good with Pisces, even though that, um, deep feelers and, and I do believe deep thinkers too, because we get a lot of ideas. We get a lot of downloads being super empathetic. We feel all the things. Um, and especially too, if you've got other water in your chart, but what I'm getting here is that with the eight of pentacles and the nine of voices is that you've just been, you have been focused on doing your thing because you didn't want to get constantly caught up in whatever energy that's there. And that's the way that you best handle yourself. Okay. is kind of what I'm getting here. So take what resonates, but I feel that there's a part of you that's 
slowed down, rested, and now it, it's like you're going from the nine of voices to everything is fine because you have been focused on yourself is what I'm getting. You've been focused on creating, doing, staying in that energy of um, filling your cup, I guess, in a way, even though it's probably kind of been a bit has its little bit of moments of melancholy um, or a little bit of just doing your thing to do your thing. There hasn't been probably any significant highs and lows lately. And what I mean by that is that whatever's going on, I think you're, you kind of have your shit together is kind of what I'm getting. And you're just watching things play out right now. And the best way that you know to handle it in your, the best interest of yourself and probably for your partner or whoever you want to pull in is just to keep doing you for now. Okay. Um, I think you've just, you've let go, uh, in a sense of, I don't want to carry this anguish that I have felt or have been feeling. Um, and I just think you're doing okay now. Like it's not a, it's not a bad thing. Everything I do believe is fine. Like you are doing okay. You're not in a bad place and you're not in a, like a super wonderful place, but you're doing okay. Um, because you know that if you just keep staying in the good energy, the good thoughts, the good feelings that you get what you want, your dreams come true, right? With the star card showing up with everything is fine. That's what happens for anyone that chooses to stay in an energy of like, setting the right boundaries, not letting negative shit come in. Um, we're allowed to feel and we'll, you know, but we also need to know that time and place where we're going. Okay. I felt this. I accept this. I'm picking myself up and I'm moving on. And I think you've done that really well, Pisces. You've stayed in, in your place of being independent and strong, whatever you've done, you've, you've connected in this balance, um, and moving forward. Because you want it, you want it for you. Passion is important in your relationship. I feel for for you. That's where you feel um, the most alive, um, and where you feel truly wanted and seen. But that's because you're bearing your soul, and that's how you choose to connect. Um, if we look at the Eight of Inspiration and and the, the Queen of Swords, again, I feel like you're moving, you're moving into this place of. Connecting with such truth, communicating with such truth, but it's in a beautiful way. And I think you're moving through, you're moving a lot faster than you probably had anticipated. You're going to see such a shift once you speak your truth, once you connect in with your person and understand what's in their mind, what's in their heart, what it is that they're feeling and what they're going through. I feel this communication is going to help you move forward very quickly being able to create the life and love that you deserve. Okay. That's what I'm kind of getting here. You have your dreams and goals and you're going to be working towards it. I think pretty quickly once the communication opens up. Yeah. So the two of swords, um, with the temperance card, and I'm going to do one more clarification here, but I feel as we look at the temperance and the two of swords, I mean, she looks kind of balanced, but she's got her, uh, you know, her, uh, what do you call blindfold on? So she's not seeing things for what, for what they are. There's something that's on her mind, but this is definitely going to balance out. I think once you make a decision and start taking action towards that, can you please um, spirit help us uh, clarify the two of swords? Thank you. Yeah. So you've got the ace of voices. So this is definitely going to be a new beginning in moving forward from a, I think a creative space of, um, how to connect and communicate in a more beautiful way that supports you, but also your partner or potential partner. I think again, when you can come from a place of truth, when you can come from a place of honesty, as we see with the queen of swords, and then make a decision of how we want to choose to lead by taking off our blindfold. Again, if there are any red flags, like raise it or drop it as in let it go and move on because that's not in service of you and doesn't, you know, or uncover it. Like, what is it? If it's not making sense, be logical about it. Okay. So don't, don't sweep that under the carpet. If there's something that, um, you need to cut out or they need to cut out, get honest about it. Like how can you come together to balance out what it is that you desire? 
again, this could be something within you, could be something within your partner, but it could be something with you both together. If you're entering um, a relationship or seeking to enter a relationship, again, I think it's important to put all your cards on the table to be able to get a true understanding of, of who they are and what they seek. But be, I'm getting be aware, okay? Like be open, be aware. Um, I know with the, the sword's energy, it can be quite matter of fact, assertive, truthful, but underneath every word is usually some form of feeling or experience that has occurred for it to be come out a certain way. So, you know, pull back the layers just because someone is upfront and forthright. There's a reason they're upfront and forthright. Sure. We can say, you know, well, they're an air sign and that's, you know, how they show up when we look at astrology, but also, you know, in terms of their star sign, but there's also that aspect of people have been through life experiences. They have been through things that bring up emotion that trigger them, that why people use words, why people don't use words. It's what they've learned and talked and how they've also been conditioned. So just keep that in mind is what is coming up. So let's have a look overall, what it is that you need to know in best support of love on how to best support you and the relationship or the relationship that's coming on in. Wow. We've got a couple of, wow. Okay. We've got a few cards that decided to come through. We've got the energy card, which is talking about your energy, right? Stop trying to please everyone. Everyone is a whole lot of people protect your energy. So that's really interesting. How are you showing up right now, Pisces? And what are you attracting in? Because that's really, really important. It's time to get this independent. And we did talk about boundaries in here. So, you know, setting those boundaries and being honest with yourself on what it is that you want and communicating with spirit, communicating with the universe, whatever it is for you on what it is that you want to bring in. And kind of like... I'm going to say don't don't compromise on that. It's not saying don't compromise and be open-minded. It's saying if there is something that you're feeling, something that you recognize, be honest with yourself and stay truthful. Then we've also got authenticity. I love this one. Live life for you, not the audience in your head. And again, when we are our real selves, we also attract that. We also bring that to the table, okay? So with your communication, be authentic. When you're, you know, going out, being with friends, be authentic, be yourself because you will attract the same thing in return. Okay. When, especially if you're trying to manifest right now, the, the soulmate relationship, the wonderful relationship, or you want to take your relationship to the next level or just re-spark it, like be honest with yourself, what it is that lights you up and what it is that you seek. And then we've got change course. A closed door is an invitation from life to move in an even better direction. It's time to change course. And what I'm getting from here is, again, if there's any stagnation in your relationship or meeting someone or whatever, how can you do things differently to re-spark that? How can you do things differently to bring that to life again in best support of you? Lead with love, lead with your heart, lead with your passion, your true self showing up as your truth, true self, if that is not supported and accepted wholly as you, you know what you deserve, Pisces. So I just want to raise that flag for you. Um, and it's a white one <laughs> that, you know, but what I feel that this is ultimately saying is just show up as, as your best self, as your true self, you know, connect into how you want to feel so you can attract that and, you know, let go of anything that isn't in support of that energy. But importantly, you know, perhaps try and do things differently to give it a new, new life, a new type of energy to bring that, that love back in, in a new sparking, beautiful way. So I'll leave that with you. Stay well, dear friend. If you felt connected um, to this message, I invite you to like and subscribe, and I look forward to connecting with you next time. Bye now.